Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I am in the bathroom for an update. Uh, so demo day was on Thursday and then people came back on Tuesday. So I'll just tell you day by day what they did. So on Tuesday, plumbers came to put the tub in, but the tub was not the right size as far as the placement of the drain hole. And it was a fiberglass tub, which I was kind of disappointed with. So I'm glad it didn't fit. So they took it, but they did do a little bit of rough in. So um, this pipe here that goes up to this spot is new. And I believe this is sticking out further now. I'm sure they'll cut it down to size after tiling um, or while they're tiling, but that's what they did. Then the next day, someone came and removed the molding from the doors and the closet and the window. They had left it on demo day. I guess they thought we wanted to keep it, but we want the trim to match the rest of the house. So that was taken off. They put down this like Luan on top of the subfloor and then did lighting work. So the um, light box was moved from that hole up. And then we got a brand new light over the uh, bathtub, which I didn't know that we were getting. So there we go. And <laughs> when I got home after work, I came in here several times, checking everything out, looking at things. And when my husband came home, probably four or five hours later, he turned on the light and said, oh, look, that's new. I said, oh, I didn't even notice that until right now. So that brings us to today, which is Thursday. Um, so a week after the project has started, we have the tub in. And this is Americast by American Standard. So I Googled that and it said it is like an enamel or a coating over a thin layer of cast iron and then another coating on the bottom. So it said lighter than regular cast iron and I would much prefer this type of tub. It said that online fiberglass tubs could um, shift and move and crack. Now I guess if they're installed right they don't have to but this sounds like the much more durable product. Probably the issue with this is maybe chipping if this is like a porcelain or an enamel, but I would prefer this. I, I liked what we had before, but I don't know what that was. And it was a short tub, like only 13 inches instead of standard. And that was too, too shallow. So that's that. Um, maybe it's Dura Rock and walls. I don't know when though, but I'm guessing that's the next stage. And we have asked to have this um, insulation taken out and new insulation. And I even had my husband pick up a roll and it's in the dining room just waiting. But I thought, while the walls are open, this looks awful. It's missing the paper. It's not attached to the studs. Like, let's just do it now. So I will be back with another update. And I'm hoping at that point, there's some walls here. Oh, and one last thing, they cut this out. Now, I don't know if they cut that out to access pipes or help with the installation, or if they cut it out to make an access panel to the pipes, but either way, that's fine by me. So yesterday, the cement board went up, and then we're gonna have this big niche in the wall to hold the uh, soap and shampoo bottles and things like that, so that's awesome. And bathtub they cleaned that up so that was nice and I got in it <laughs> so right now uh, I'm about to paint the walls now I don't know if I'm painting or they're painting but I got a tester pot and I want to test it so that's what we're about to do um, the color when I opened it was a little different than what I was expecting I'm going to make sure it's mixed up really well and then see how it looks in here in the light Nice thing about painting though, it's honestly not a lot of wall space um, and it can be changed. So since we are getting the um, tile four feet up, I've got the top of this wall. I don't know how they're gonna tile in those areas. So I'm thinking at least paint here and then that's probably going to be paint. I bet like an inch is revealed and that would be a lot easier to paint it now before the molding goes up. The top of the wall here, around, and then here. I mean, honestly, I'm just looking at it thinking that's not very much. Um, and then the tile is going to go to the wall on these three spots here. 
I could probably paint this with just a couple duster pots. So let's swatch it and see what it looks like. So I got a decent amount done and I just used the paintbrush. I mean like an artist paintbrush. But next time um, I will get the roller. Well, I came home and we have tile, which is very exciting. So they got all of this done. Definitely seems darker on camera, but in person it's lighter and it's just this nice transition from one to the other. And I really love it with the wall color. I came home and we have a mosaic floor. It's the black and white basket weave. I'm so excited. So it looks like it's pretty much all done except for in the closet. Also the trim that now matches the rest of the house. And um, you know, the trim is just so interesting. We'll just say that was here. And he even said when I talked to him on the phone, that was a mess. And I'm like, yep, that's why we wanted it redone. But it is a good maybe inch and a half um, smaller. So there will have to be some drywall repairs, but that was gonna have to happen anyway because of the light. And then I didn't realize it, um, but they also did more in the shower, like all of that. But when I was looking in here, I was looking at the floor and I wasn't really sticking my head all the way in. So I don't know if they did where the um, like faucet side is the other side of this closet because I can't go in there and we can't walk on it until tomorrow morning he said um, but that's exciting <laughs> it's funny just thinking about how I didn't notice that the light was put in and then now I'm so concentrated on the floor I didn't notice uh, <laughs> those tiles over there but that's the update um, there'll be more tile work done tomorrow so I'm assuming a lot of the walls will be done because it'll be three people working on that. And since the floor is done, hopefully really good progress. We are at the end of the third day of tiling. So this whole back wall is practically finished except for two rows and the chair rail. They did all of this, which I think looks awesome. And tomorrow, well, let me show you what else they did. Finished all the way up to the ceiling, which again, is like, whoa, this looks so fancy. And I love this little shelf that sticks out, like such a nice little touch. And all the way here. I don't know what we wanna do for um, the, the window treatment. Uh, my husband was like, well, you know, those are old, we should get rid of them. And I hate dusting those. So I would be fine with some type of fabric thing that can be taken off and washed. Um, maybe oh, maybe some vintage linens or something like that. So we need privacy, you know, don't want people to see in, but something that maybe brings some vintage charm. So I've done a curtain rod with old pillowcases hanging, but I have so many vintage linens. Maybe I could make something or find something. Don't think that I'm gonna be in a hurry though, because nothing is wrong with those, but that's something that we would like to change out, but I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon. So that is the update. I will see you in another video. Bye.